Libras, um, you really don't want to have anything to do with these people from the past. Uh, someone that you know that's kind of pressuring you into getting to know them. You don't really want to get to know them. So the sun represents you're trying to be polite about it and you let them know that you're not really interested in them, right? And uh, like it is, I said before, the two of swords and the star card represents somebody really trying to pressure you into being with them. Um, you Scorpios, sorry about that. You Libras, I just did Scorpio video, but you Libras have somebody that you you got the interest of this person that really is quite sneaky and they don't really know how to accept no for an answer um you were trying to get to know them potentially um and you've decided that you may not want to continue to get to know them and or maybe you think too much of them as a friend right maybe it was a friend we'll have to clarify it but maybe it was a friend that let you know that they were interested in you and that the two of you should hang out sometime. And you Libras was like, nah, I'm good. So so the star card now is about how, like I said before, they really like you, but you're not feeling them. So if you decide that you're not really feeling them, you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing that, I mean, ultimately, there's nothing that they can really do. They just, some of them just are, are, they really just want you to see the potential of this relationship. And But the thing is that the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords is behind closed doors, their hearts breaking because they really thought that the two of you would actually be a, a pretty good mix or pretty good match. And they don't really, they don't really uh, understand why it is that you would tell them that, you would tell them no and turn them down so now the devil represents so now they're kind of ruminating on it because they're kind of a because they're the type of person that ruminates on it so they so they are obsessive right they are obsessed with the idea of the two of you have probably gotten to know each other like i said it's probably a friend right that you've known that now decided to do this to you and a lot of you uh libras you know, you, you're seeing a, a brand new face about the person, but the Six of Wands represents you'll just end up leaving them because, or you have left them alone. Because, because I like to, I don't know, I like to talk about Tarot from a storybook form, you know what I mean? Um, but the Six of Wands, you have let them go. You know, you have moved on because... They don't know how to, like I said, they don't know how to accept no for an answer. They don't know how to accept the fact that maybe the two of you have known each other for too long that you don't necessarily want to jeopardize that friendship, right? You want to start something off with someone, you know, that, that, you, uh, that you know very much so, excuse me, that you are getting to know very much so, so that if the two of you, if, the, if you and this other person that's brand new, don't end up hitting it off the way that you want to, you can leave them alone. You don't have to ruin a very good relationship where things are good. So the thing is that the Queen of Wands represents, this person doesn't really care if the relationship, the friendship between you and them gets uh, dismantled or dissolved. They just want their chance with you. So we need to definitely clarify if it was friends or if this is a brand new person that seems to be very pushy, but Let's see. Let's clarify the uh, Ace of Wands. It's my cat down there. Let's see. Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. Yeah, it probably was a friend. Or, or yeah, probably was a friend. And um, this is someone that, that just started to uh, talk to you a certain kind of way. So now a lot of you Libras are like, what are you doing? You know, you want, you didn't want this person to start showing up and, and approaching you now like that. They should have did that a long time ago. The Nine of Wands and the Ten, no, yeah. 
Okay. Okay, somebody that's a mix of the two. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. It's somebody that's a mix of the two. It's somebody that you were getting to know, but they, the way that they come off, you thought you had good chemistry with them at first, and then they started to act like they're weird. They started to move in very unusual and weird ways. And that's the thing that originally turned you Libras off about them in the first place. It's because you thought that you and them had great chemistry and you liked them physically and everything like that. But for you Libras, they started to make moves, right? That was very weird. Maybe they like to play phone tag, which you call you, put down a phone, all types of stuff. And so now the Nine of Swords represents you Libras being disappointed at how they they started off so the relationship started off or potential relationship started off so well and then it turned to trash but then the ten of wands is all about how you uh libras well more so this represents them how they think that they're doing the right thing they think that you know that the way that they're trying to play it off they're trying to play it off like you're playing hard to get but again you know they were moving in very odd ways you know playing phone tag you know what i'm saying um calling you you know what i'm saying uh you trying to you trying to hang out with them they always busy or something like this but then when they tried to talk to you or whatnot you're actually busy but overall, you Libras realize that they really have nothing to offer that you want because they spent, they spent, yeah, they spent so much time stalling out and playing games and wasting time when they should have been establishing something in the first place. You literally got switched off like a light, like you done. So now they're like, oh, you know, now that you Libras are done with it, now they're like, you know, Maybe they could somehow fix this. Let's clarify the devil. Let's clarify the devil. So, the Five of Wands, the Chariot, Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Chariot, Cast Crab, clarify the devil, opposite signs. Yeah, like the two of you are mixing like oil and water. You're not really getting along. The five of wands and the chariot, this person is trying to, they're trying to force it. And what I mean by that is they're trying to put it into a situation where it's like, they're trying to morph it into a situation where, you know, you Libras will be more tolerant of the nonsense that they're doing now. But what they don't seem to understand, what they're unwilling to really pay attention is they're making the interactions between you and them more socially awkward because number one, they don't know how to take no for an answer. Number two, they did it to themselves. And number three, here they are trying to make it seem like you can't tell them no. And of course that's upsetting you and getting you on your nerves. So what do you do in order to keep the peace? Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, you leave them alone. And now you're trying to figure out what is a very good way to make sure that the next time if they were to try to contact you again or hang out or show up or whatever, that you Libras would have an already prepared excuse as to why you can't go with them. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands. The Hermit, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Judgment. You already do have an excuse. The excuse is the excuse is the truth. Because the Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles, they they had their chance and they blew it. Because they spent so much time being weird and at first everything started off cool, but they could but the fact that they can't own up to their own ego and just get to the point is what made them into a weirdo. Because now it's like the phone calls and them playing phone tag and being ducking, you know, being dodgy with you is all about, well, I'm here, 
And I'm going to tell you, like when you see people do stuff like that, where they're playing phone tag, they call you and then they put down the phone. Really what it is, is, is that they were calling you to tell you something. They were calling you to tell you that they like you. They were calling you to ask you out, but they beat up. They squatted up. They chicken squatted up and they got scared at the last second. And then they put down the phone. <laughs> basically is what happened. So a lot of you uh, Libras now, you you do have an excuse. The excuse is what they are themselves are doing. You don't need an, an excuse. You Libras continue on with your life as normal. And of course, he had a judgment. These people are going to start to get upset. But what it is, is, is that even though it seems like they're getting upset with you, and they will, they want you to smooth it over and to, and to, push the envelope kind of like they they want you to see that they're trying to call you to ask you out and they want you to ask them out so that they it can alleviate the responsibilities off their shoulders or whatnot you know even though they're the ones that's putting all this excess stress on it but then when they when they see that you Libras are really not stressing it they're upset about that because now it's how come you're not reading my mind and you're not you're not you're not coming to me, you know what I mean? Uh, and making it easy on me. Listen, at the end of the day, everybody has to understand, no, no matter what side you're on, no matter what you into, everybody got to understand, closed, mouth, closed mouths don't get fed. So if you don't say, hey, listen, this is what it is that I want, calling somebody and then putting down the phone is not going to work, you know what I mean? It, 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 it's crazy because... That doesn't work. You have to speak up for what you want. Hey, listen, but that requires people to have some heart. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Uh, thank you. I appreciate all the subscribers. Appreciate everybody rocking with me up until this point. And uh, yeah, come through and get a reading from me so I can most definitely keep the show going. Really appreciate y'all. Peace.